Good evening and welcome to TL Physics and tonight I'm going to talk about uh, the photoelectric effect. I'm going to introduce the basics of it. The photoelectric effect is an unusual way where a photon, light, a wave, interacts with materials and an electron is released. Now, what happens is this, that one photon with an energy that's calculated by the formula E equals HF or C over lambda times H, do apologize, comes into a material and interacts with an electron. This electron then, depending on how much energy you put in, would leave with some kinetic energy. Now, there are other parts involved, which I'll talk about in other videos of the threshold frequency and the work function. But the basic premise is, is that this photon is coming into a material, one photon interacts with one electron, and if it is the right frequency, if the photon has enough energy, the electron leaves the material. Now the odd thing about this is that this transfer of energy is instantaneous. That is not how waves work. Waves transfer their energy and there is a time delay between the energy from me to you, but not here. This photon is literally coming in, interacting with this electron and the electron is instantly leaving if it has enough energy. That is the behavior of a particle, not a wave. We use this kind of idea in solar panels that a photon of light from the sun interacts with the material and these electrons start leaving and flowing around a circuit. That's how we get energy from solar. But it's this idea that all of a sudden physics has been slightly changed where this idea of a wave is interacting with a particle and it is releasing an electron. So it's interacting with this electron and it's releasing itself. That is the gist of the photoelectric effect. There are key points that you need to know about, about threshold frequency and work function, and they'll be in the next few videos.